The International Conference Center in Geneva. On Friday, January 15th, the participants of this special event discussed Pope Francis' encyclical letter Laudato Si, Praise Be to You, and how to devise actions aimed at caring for our common home and those who inhabit it. The encyclical letter Laudato Si by His Holiness the Pope is a forceful call to action and today's event hopefully will help us to embark on a coordinated approach. The point was made that our society will become more multicultural, multi-ethnic and multi-religious and that many leaders fail to prepare their people for it. No one has said it better than Pope Francis when he talked about the globalization of indifference, the lack of leadership, the lack of courage, uh, the lack of uh, international moral authority that's very much in decline. So, Keynote speaker at the conference, Cardinal Peter Turkson, said that he thanked God for the Paris Agreement, which provides a framework for action at every level, but that the most important action is a change of heart. The wilderness, the desert, the destruction that we see outside is a reflection of the wilderness and destruction in the human heart. Okay, it's what we are within ourselves, what we are as people, as characters, as habits, these. So our sinful condition is what makes the world outside also sinful. And so the call for improvement or change begins and must begin with us, deep within us. So the type of ecological conversion that Pope John, uh, St. John Paul II began talking about and which the present Pope takes up is that serious and that profound and deep. So everything that we talk about in hope, it's all based on the grace of God that is capable of changing us and enabling us to do even what is beyond our own native and natural powers. The vast majority of people have come to accept the scientific facts about man-made climate change. I'm very inspired by how Pope Francis has called uh, the Church, the Roman Catholic Church, but all of us, to say and to understand how important these issues are. The Paris Agreement was also a breakthrough, I think. Um, I, I was in Paris and I couldn't hear any who doubted that this is a reality and that it is a human-created reality. Uh, yes, we can be optimistic, but we have the challenge of uh, that we need to change our behaviors, uh, both our behaviors toward the earth, toward nature, but also our behaviors with each other. Everyone agreed that Laudato Si had played a critical factor in encouraging civil society participation and activism and also had united Christians and other religions at an unprecedented level. I am afraid that probably some of the promises made in the official gatherings like the Paris meeting and the environment may not be fully kept. But I am convinced that we as individuals motivated by our faith and our trust in the human family can act in such a way that voluntarily, first of all, that will be conducive to the preservation of the good environment we need. This conference was one of the last assignments for Archbishop Tomasi, who retires at the end of January. He was Apostolic Nuncio to the UN Geneva for over 13 years.